Hello, welcome to Valve channel. I'm Stephen. In Valve industry, some Valve manufacturer will offer this kind of table to tell the customer what is CV about the Valve. Because different size of the Valve will have different CV. And also, when the Valve trim open to different angle or travel to different position, the CV also going to change. So in this video, we are talking about what is CV, why we need concern about CV of the valve, and also when we are going to use the valve CV in flow control system. First, we are going to talk about what is valve CV. The full name for CV is flow coefficient. Now I'm going to show the valve flow capacity for the flow medium transfer the valve from inside. So valve CV are related to two things. One is the valve size. The big valve size will have very high CV. The small valve size will have very low CV. So that is the first thing are related to the valve CV. And another thing is the position or the angle of the valve trim. Just like this butterfly valve. If the valve disc are fully opened, 19 degree, so the valve will have very high CV. But if the valve are going to close, are close to 10 degree, the valve will have very low CV. So that is another thing are related to the valve CV. So valve CV related to two things. One is the valve size, and another is the position or the angle of the valve trim. So engineer are going to think we need to find a very useful standard for the valve to calculate the value of the CV. So next we are going to talk about how we can get those numbers to show the value of the CV for a valve. Because different valve will have different shape and the valve trim are different. For example, the gate valve, the butterfly valve, the ball valve, the global valve. The valve shape and the valve trim are different. So that is impossible to design one kind of formula for engineer going to calculate the valve CV. So valve CV cannot get it from calculation. The only one way to get a valve CV is to do the valve CV testing. So let's look at how to test a valve to get the correct valve CV for one kind of valve. The basic principle for the valve CV testing are very easy to understand. We are going to use water, which is 16 Fahrenheit degree temperature water, for the testing medium. And then we are going to push the water from one side to another. Use 1 psi pressure to push the water. And then we are going to calculate how much water will transfer the valve. For example, this valve, if one minute 10 gallon water transfer the valve. So this valve CV is 10. So that is very easy to understand what is valve CV testing. Because CV is based on metric standard. In metric standard, it also has another flow qualification which is called a KV. The basic testing and the principle is the same, just use different unit. So we can use this kind of testing to get a correct valve CV. But the question is, why we need to do this kind of testing for one valve? When we get a correct valve CV, when we will going to use the CV in the flow control system? So that is the question we are talking about next. When we are going to choose a valve for the flow control system, the first thing we need to determine is the valve size. If we divide the valve by the valve function, basically we have two kinds of valve. One is on-off valve and another is control valve. The on-off valve valve size are very easy to determine because on-off valve valve size are exactly the same with the public size. But control valve valve size are much more difficult to determine. For example, this global control valve. You can see this photo. This Global control valve, the valve size are much smaller than the public size because the control valve valve size are not determined by the public size. It is determined by the valve CV and 
the flow median CV. Because control valve were going to adjust the flow capacity inside the pipeline, inside the flow control system. So that is the reason why we need to test the valve to get a correct CV, because we were going to use that CV to choose a correct control valve for the flow control system. So most of the time, the control valve valve size are not same with the pipeline size. And another photo also show the similar situation. This is another global control valve. This is control valve valve position. This is control valve valve actuator. The valve size are much smaller than the pipeline size. Except to use global valve for the control valve, sometimes butterfly valve also can be a control valve for the flow control system. This butterfly control valve also has actuator and position. The valve size are much smaller than the pipe size. So next we are going to talk about what is the relationship between valve CV and the flow median CV inside the flow control system. How to use two CV to choose a correct valve size and the correct valve for the flow control system to adjust the flow capacity inside the pipeline. To understand what is the relationship between valve CV and the flow median CV, first we need to understand what is flow median CV. Flow median CV is going to tell the engineer how much flow median we are going to transfer the valve from one side to another. We will get the flow median CV by calculation from those five design factors about the flow median and the flow control system. The first design factor is the specific gravity of the medium, and the next is the temperature of the medium. The pressure we are going to push the medium from one side to another, and the difference of the pressure from one side to another, and the quantity of the flow. We will put all those five design factors in this kind of formula to calculate the flow median CV. Because different uh, flow median will have different property, so basically we have three kind of formula to calculate. For example, the gas. The gas formula look like this. To make this video uh, much more easier to understand, I'm not going to explain how we get this kind of formula. This kind of formula are very easy to use. The SCFH is for the quantity of flow. The unit is standard cubic foot per minute. T is for the temperature. S is for the special specific gravity. And the P1 is for the pressure. Delta P is for the difference of the pressure. So we put five design factor in this kind of formula. We can get accurate flow medium CV inside the flow control system. And then we're going to use this CV to choose a correct size of the control valve. So next we're going to talk about what is the relationship between the valve CV and the flow median CV. The relationship between control valve CV and the flow median CV is, if the control valve CV are too big than the flow median CV, this control valve cannot adjust the flow capacity inside the flow control system very accurately. And also, if the control valve CV are too small than the flow median CV, this control valve, even already fully opened, it still cannot let all the flow media transfer the valve. It may block the flow media. So next I'm going to show you a real control valve specification for you to understand how to choose a correct control valve according to the flow media CV. Here is one control valve specification. It includes a lot of information about this control valve. When customer going to choose a control valve, they will tell the valve manufacturer what is the minimum flow capacity and the normal and the maximum flow capacity. And then the valve manufacturer will going to use those five different design factors to calculate the minimum CV, the normal CV, and the maximum CV. And then the valve manufacturer will going to use the flow median CV to choose a correct control valve to match the flow median CV. So this valve, when it open to 41%, it get the minimum 
CV. When the valve open to 70%, it get the maximum CV. So this valve will adjust the flow median CV very accurately. Because most of the time, control valve will adjust the flow capacity from open to 20% to open to 18%. In this range, will be very accurate. So this valve will be very suitable to working in this kind of situation. And also, the valve manufacturer tells the engineer the maximum CV for this valve is 136, that is 100% open for this control valve. And also, this valve are smaller than the public size. This valve is 3 inch, but the public size is 4 inch. So that is the basic principle how to use the flow media CV to choose a correct control valve for the flow control system. So that is for today. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye bye.